usually i do my hair the night before i don't know why i decided to do this but i get this hairstyle i went to my studio last night if you haven't seen my previous vlog um i got ready a lot for a lot of the recital last night and my previous vlog shows that so if you want to see more of me getting ready just check out that one before this one but anyway i got my hair done last night like the braid into the puff and stuff like that but i gotta put my hair into a bun and then i also gotta put my mom's hair into a bun <laughs> I did my bun um this bobby pin keeps deciding to stick up and i don't know what's up with that but what i like to do is just put a ton of scrunchies around it i just stick a bobby pin at the top like somewhere this has always worked for me so i'm gonna do like this shake test and then i'm gonna lay my head on the floor and like rub my head on the ground to make sure the button is secure because i put a ton of scrunchies in it and now my head feels tight but it's okay because this cannot come out on stage <laughs> All right, I just finished the test, we're good. Now I'm gonna do my edges, cause, woo. It's getting light outside, so I'm gonna put in my window for more lighting. Makeup time. I don't know why I'm like rushing. I literally woke up two hours before I have to leave. But I still like haven't packed my bag. Actually, I packed my costumes and like everything I need to be dressed for the recital. So basically I'm ready. Like everything that needs to be packed is packed. But everything that's like extra that I like doing cause I'm extra, it's not packed. I haven't packed like my makeup and hair stuff and stuff like that. Usually I pack it the night before, but I, I, I keep needed it for today. So we're gonna start off with concealer. Guys, I got this last night. It's like a primer and concealer in one. It's a 501 Revlon Color Stay something. Usually I use this concealer, but I need a lighter one. And I want something like in a stick that I can use fast. If I'm going slower, I can use this one and then this one if I'm trying to go fast. These type of brushes on the ends of stuff, I don't like because they hold bacteria. But this is a really small too, so it probably won't last me long if I keep using it. Whoa, that, that took out my tripophobia. So I'm gonna put some of that under my eyes. Ooh. That came on strong. I'm not used to my concealer looking that strong. I'm nervous because usually my concealer looks really natural. Um, let's blend that into my eyes first before I see if I wanna continue. This is probably not the time to be testing out new products. Ooh. Guys, this concealer does not look good. Maybe I should have done one eye first. I wiped all of that out. I'm going to, with my normal concealer. I think the problem was it was just too light. base is done i really don't need to do much because i'm doing a red lip at the venue because i'm not gonna wear that all day and then i'm doing gold eyeshadow at the venue so i'm just gonna put on some carmax and i'm gonna attempt these lashes guys whenever i do lashes it doesn't really work out well actually it works out pretty well sometimes by the way i'm using this it's our dale i never used this kind before but my mother got it last night so i was like okay so i'm gonna do some eyeliner some black eyeliner the lashes because i have to do this like some people can add lashes without eyeliner i have to have the eyeliner <laughs> Okay, that's not too bad. I obviously got something in my crease, in my inner corner, actually. Okay, I guess I gotta let that dry. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. That was actually really easy to apply though. I'm gonna start off with a thin layer of glue because I know I'm gonna need more, but I always have to redo it. And like really when you have eyeliner on, you can't tell that I have eyelashes because they're so short and curly. All right, I'm gonna try to put it on while it's a little more wet. Okay, so I redid my makeup and stuff like that. Put on concealer, the eyebrow mascara, and the normal mascara and CarMax. I literally had to end up washing my entire face because that eyeliner was like not coming off at all. And I'm pretty sure that's like everything I need to do to myself before I leave. And I just gotta pack my hair and makeup bag. This is the one I'm gonna be using. It's like, I don't know where it's from, it was a gift. So I'm gonna pack my beauty blender, my like favorite makeup brush, eyebrow mascara, spoolie, eyebrow pencil, blush, mascara, more mascara, CarMax, setting spray, red lipstick, neutral eyeshadow palette, lotion, lip gloss, red lip liner in case I need it. Another makeup brush, my edge brush, my edge booster, edge control stick. Cool, let's get to packing my bag. Okay, so in this little side pocket here, it has this so it goes inside the bag, but it's separated from everything else, which I really like. I put my makeup bag and my hair bag in here. And here I have like more undergarments, two of my costumes. I'm in seven dances, by the way. And then I have my point shoes and then my hip hop shoes because I nearly forgot to put these back in here. I took them out last night to show you guys. And that's pretty much it. I didn't realize until last night when I was packing that my dance bag was broken. I mean, I knew that, but I literally just forgot because I haven't used it since the last recital. The strap that goes across it, it just doesn't like clip anymore. So I gotta just use these two handles. This bag is pretty heavy, so that's gonna be fine. On two occasions, my phone has been able to not work on recital days at all. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm gonna put on my Apple Watch. I don't know, that, those two times just traumatized me so much, I'm gonna read my second phone. And then I'll probably just get my purse with every, my everyday things in it. This is the outfit. This is my Groovy Gang hoodie. It's on a different dance hoodie. But this is my studio shirt and then some black tights. And then I'm just wearing my Crocs. And that's it. I'm pretty much done. I have to do my mother's hair. So I'm going to probably do her hair and then we'll be out the door because now we're late. <laughs>
guys. We're in the restaurant after everything. The lipstick is faded. The outfit is not eating. Yo, I'm in Olive Garden. Looking like this. It's not okay. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. If you want to see more of me, check out my social media in the description. And if you made it to this point of the video, comment this emoji. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!